right, welcome back everybody. Jeff and Shelly here for a couple sutra, episode two. Um, we're going to start off by talking about how the sex position of the week went, and we chose the Amazon, and as you all probably could see, um, my description for it wasn't the greatest, but I hope you looked at the picture online. Um, Jeff and I have tried this in the past, and we tried it again, and we were unsuccessful. Both times. Both, both times. Equally uh, unsuccessful. <laughs> um, the, the man does have to have a little flexibility. Uh, what muscle group would you say that is? It's your glutes and hamstrings. <laughs> so he needs to stretch a little more. Um, I just can't quite <laughs> push his legs down far enough. Or if maybe he had a foot longer of a dick and then you could fit. There you go. Pretty much. <laughs> um, but it was fun to try. You know, maybe we'll stretch for a month straight and give it another go in a month. But right now it's not a position we can accomplish. At least stretch the hamstrings. That's all we can really stretch. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's how that went. And then our week went pretty well. I know we had a couple arguments and I didn't handle them well. I just went to sleep. But other than that, um, we had a couple date nights. We went to some dueling pianos on Saturday and that was a lot of fun. And we made sure we did a, did we do dinner or lunch? We did lunch. We did a nice lunch date at um, a local restaurant and just enjoyed each other's company and it was really nice um it was nice out it was raining but we were able to still sit out on the porch under the umbrella so it was nice yeah it was our first date night or date day with just the two of us for probably two three weeks at least because we've been going on dates but it's been with other couples or family so it's just different going with somebody else instead of sharing mm -hmm. time together yeah. so it was really nice it was nice also we apologize if you hear a meow or a purr our cat is wanting to be very needy right yeah. now so i apologize and i know last week you guys heard a dog barking and i didn't realize these mics were that good and could pick up on that i actually when i was playing this over and editing it i thought the dog was barking in real time i didn't realize um the mics would have picked up on that so i'm sorry about that all right. Do you want to start us off on our date idea? Yeah, so this one is very simple. It's just hiking or go for a walk. Here it's summer, so it's nice out again. Uh, I mean, you could do it in the winter too, but it's just so easy to just go outside, go for a walk, experience how it feels out, and just walk and talk. Yep, so we've done this before. We actually, um, I'm not going to go over it this episode, but we have this book that had us do this. You know, make sure you leave your either leave your phones in the car at home or at least put them on silent don't touch them you know you want to have complete 100 percent of each other's attention we don't want those phones interrupting anybody's time and just enjoy each other's company and enjoy the nature and you know if it's really nice out and there's a lake nearby depending on where you're hiking you can always go for a swim as well um, we live right across from the water so sometimes we'll go for a nice walk on the street with our dogs and then we can just go wade in the water which is depending on the day very <laughs> refreshing it's just really important it's very easy time together and being able to enjoy each other's company you know even just be silent for a while like while you're walking and just be thankful for what you have and having each other and just embrace each other's company and the nature around you and then also this week our gift idea um, simple and fun, a homemade card with a free massage. <laughs> that, <laughs> the uh, caveat with that is I got her a card our first Valentine's Day that had a coupon, and it said, um, this coupon good for one free massage that I will immediately turn into sex. So it's just kind of a little funny thing you can give to someone, hopefully your significant other. <laughs> when you worded that, Mike, just go give it to your neighbor. They'll, they'll love it. <laughs> <laughs> he did give it with, um, there were chocolates with it. But, you know, it's a very simple but cute and fun card. I don't know if we mentioned this last week, but we, every once in a while, we'll throw in gift ideas. We don't have any birthdays or anything. We, I mean, Father's Day just got passed, so we don't really have anything to do right now. But we thought we'd throw some out there here and there just in case you guys are celebrating anything. Um, that's just a really simple, even if, your significant other comes home from work and you have that sitting on the table for them, I think they would love it. Like, it would be a fun little simple, playful message for them and you can use it anytime. And those are the kind of gifts I enjoy too because they're just, they're really simple. They don't cost a lot of money. 
And they're also, it could be any day of the week. It doesn't have to be somebody's birthday or a special occasion. They mean more than anyway, too. Yeah, I really appreciated that gift. I think I have it saved somewhere, too. I <laughs> save everything. He's Jeff's really good at, he'll leave me notes at my desk, or because he'll usually leave before me. And he'll just leave me cute little notes saying I love you, and just, I'm so happy that I'm with you. You know, sweet and cheesy, but I love it. It makes me happy every time. So I have a whole drawer. This isn't every day. This is like no. once every no. couple months. <laughs> it's not every day, but it's sweet. It's sweet, and I have a whole drawer of saving them. Mm. All right. Let's do some funny sex stories. Do you want me to go first this time? Yeah. All right. So we had our first write-in, and they would like to remain anonymous. And just so you guys are aware, we will just share first names if you send us in a story. But if you would like to remain anonymous, that is totally fine. Just please state that in your email. And so, like I said, this one's anonymous. And this is her story. It says, so when me and fiance lived in our first apartment together, we decided one day to get it on just randomly during the day. While our dog was just kind of roaming around like normal, while we were busy doing, you know, while my fiancé was getting close to finishing, and since we weren't exactly being safe with a condom, he decided to pull out to be a little safer. Well, as he went to pull out and blow in his boxers that he put to the side to make the mess a little cleaner, our dog jumped right in the line of fire. So here she sits on the bed with cum on her head. Oh, <laughs> So my fiancé and I are literally laughing out loud, trying to wipe her head clean of cum. So now occasionally we will walk around the house and be like, what up, cum head, to our dog. It's great. Oh, oh my God, I love that. It kind of reminds me of... That's better than our story. When um, I took your underwear off and I threw them, and then all of a sudden I look, and at the end of the bed is our dog sitting there with her underwear wrapped around... One of her ears. One of her ears, kind of like, what's thing. going on? Our dog also, we have two, but one of them, anytime we start, when we go to the bedroom and start having sex, she immediately has to be in there. She doesn't come by us. She'll go lay right on her dog bed. But yeah, so she was on her dog bed and Jeff threw my underwear and they were just, just wrapped around her ear. She's just looking up all innocent. <laughs> it was the best thing ever. So this kind of reminded me of that, but I love it. What up, cunhead? <laughs> that poor dog. <laughs> uh. All right. What you got for us? Okay, so my story is from OKP. It's O-K-P-E-A. Is this from Reddit? Yeah, it's on oh. Reddit. They write, hooked up with this guy who had a micro penis, <laughs> probably about the size of my index finger, and I had pretty small hands. Honestly, I didn't mind. I really don't care about size, as penetration doesn't do much for me, and I'm much more of an oral person. But after we got naked, he started dirty talking and referred to his cock as huge. A couple of quotes I remember are, are you ready to take this big cock? And I'm going to tear that pussy up. <laughs> I was trying not to giggle the whole time. He had a no, right? Oh, my gosh. I feel sorry for all of you men out there with micro penises and what you have to deal with. I mean, she, she handled it well, but once he said those phrases. But I like think... she said, it's the other stuff that you're doing, yeah. too, that she likes more anyway. Yeah. So. I, I would agree. You don't obviously have a micro penis or anything, but... I just like the word like micro penis. <laughs> micro penis. Little penis. <laughs> uh, if you guys watch Rick and Morty, that is a reference to that. All right. I'm going to go next. And I have a story. It's actually a story about Jeff and I. And it was uh, when we were living in town. So we were a little closer to my parents. And my we have an open house kind of rule. Like my, with my parents, we always, when we go there, we don't really knock. We just walk in. So they kind of do that with us when we lived in town. So Jeff and I were getting it on, and I can be quite loud when I come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so our room was in the front of the house, and people enter in the back of the house. And there's just one long hallway, and that window was open by the back door. And I just came, and I'm on top, and all of a sudden we hear this knock. The door's already open, but it's a knock from my dad. And he's like, hello? So I never dismounted so fast and put some clothes on and went and talked to him. And he seemed totally cool about it, but it was the most embarrassing. You know, dads, I'm pretty sure if he heard something, he's never going to tell us about it. And I even texted my mom because I'm a little more open with her. And I'm like, tell us if dad says something because 
he may have just walked in on something and heard something that he never wanted to hear. And I so, do remember her saying something about your dad mentioning that you were still in your pajamas. Because this was like 2 oh, in the yeah. afternoon. Yeah. He's like, well, she's still in her PJs. And I'm like, well, yeah, I had to freaking whip something on so he didn't see it. And it was like the most see-through shirt. So I was just standing so awkward. And I'm sure my whole face was flushed. And uh, to this day, we do not know if he actually heard anything but we're just, we just forget about it we kind of assume he did because we did a couple tests where oh, one yeah. person would stand outside <laughs> with the window open and the other person I would, would go pretend in the bedroom to like and yell. scream or moan in the bedroom to see if he could hear it i'm like please tell me you didn't hear that he's like i could hear that like, oh, shit yeah i forgot about that <laughs> so my second story and that's also from reddit is from jbob24 and to set this story up this is a story actually from the guy's dad, and he is doing it on the carpet, on the floor. So he writes, My dad told me when he lost his virginity, he was going to town but felt a burning sensation. Apparently, he was fucking the gap between her ass crack and the carpet for a good five minutes before she corrected him. <laughs> oh my god, how don't you realize that's not what it... So his parents I mean, just fucking the carpet. He's a virgin, so he didn't know what it felt like, but... Oh my god. I feel like that would hurt. I mean, you would I I know he is a virgin, but you would think I don't think this is what a vagina would feel like, but maybe he That was a good man voice. Thanks. Oh my god, ow. I wouldn't I would want to be done after that. that. I feel like that would really hurt. Like rug burn on his penis. Ow. Oh, I like those stories. I want to thank our anonymous listener for sending in a story. It's really fun to read other stories. And also, before we get started on our sex position of the week, I just have to put in that disclaimer that try this at your own risk. We're not responsible for anything that could happen to you while you try these positions. They're not very risky, but just depending on what kind of surface you do them on and just, I guess, how kinky you try to take it. You know, you could get hurt, so just a reminder, we are not responsible for any injuries that would happen from you trying this exposition of the week. Our sex position of the week, guys, is the corkscrew. Um, I actually pulled off some notes on how to describe it because I struggled with the Amazon, so I took these notes right off of one of the wo websites that had descriptions for it. And you will be able to find a cartoon of it again on our Facebook page. So it says... Do it near the edge of a bed or a bench. Rest, and this is the girl, rest on your hip and forearm and press your thighs together and your partner stands and straddles you entering or grinding from behind. So sometimes they showed the man have one leg on the ground and one leg on the bed. So you're seriously just, the girl's laying on her side at the edge of the bed and the guy's entering her from there. And um, they say that it's better pleasure keeping her legs tighter because there's more friction. Um, but... Yeah, if you want to take a look on our Facebook page, we'll have a picture of it. Um, oh, it even had a note. It said, make it hotter. Instead of letting your partner do all the work, try thrusting your hips slightly to match the tempo. Which that's an issue we have sometimes <laughs> is matching tempo. We just had this conversation during sex yesterday. Yeah. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'll start thrusting and then he'll start and then they don't they do match. Not match up. I mean, I was in band and I had a great tempo, but when it comes to sex, I have no rhythm if we're both trying. It's kind of like there's two earthquakes going on and they're not quite matching up. <laughs> I like that description. All right, guys. Our podcast comes out every Wednesday morning. Um, social media, you can find us on Facebook at Couple Sutra. Remember, that is couples with a K. And then um, the handle is at Couple Sutra Podcast. Or you can email us at couplesutra at gmail.com. Please email us your sex stories. Let us know if you are doing the sex position of the week and how it's going. We'd love to be able to share those at the beginning of the episode and just see how everyone else is doing with them as well if, if your husband's flexible enough. <laughs> and if you have any positions that you want us to try, please email them in for suggestions that you're like, hey, I found this and I want everybody to know about it. It'd be awesome to email those as well. Yeah, I like that because then we don't have to always be looking up just random ones. It'd be fun to, it would be fun to be challenged by other people. So please, yeah, email those in. Also, if anybody wants to email in, we are looking for mattress suggestions. We're looking at all the ones online that they shipped you, like Nectar and Purple and Casper. Dream Cloud. Dream Cloud. 
and we're finding really mixed reviews where they'll have half of them are five and then half of them are ones so we don't want to buy it and then yeah. risk so we need to upgrade to a king per our, our one dog. dog yeah <laughs> he sleeps with us every single night um, and he takes up a lot of room so if anybody has any suggestions please please, please let us know also we're looking for one of those beds where you know if you're a hot is it a hot sleeper you'd call yourself and the bed has cooling and vice versa i know if you're like really cold it can keep you warm i know they have some of those beds out there where they're just good at maintaining your body temperature and i care way more that it just has it's supportive and i don't have a sore back yeah i don't like the, the i don't like the ones where they compress too much not compress yeah i don't like the ones where you lay on it and it feels like a rock and you oh, slowly that one would be more firm yeah the firm ones where you slowly sink in i don't like those i like to be able to sit and feel my butt sink immediately not over five minutes so so yeah. if anybody has an idea please let us know thank you guys for listening and we'll talk to you next week